hi guys welcome back to my channel so welcome back to another meal prep video today i am doing some basic prep prepping some lunches and also doing some dinner prep to help me out in the evenings after i get home from work if you are new here i do these meal prep videos every single week i do these not only to help me stay on track and also to stay accountable to my keto journey but also i hope to inspire you guys to do some prepping of your own i know meal prepping can be very very intimidating but it doesn't have to be you can just do little tiny things and i hope these videos inspire you to do that if you are not subscribed i hope you will take a moment to do so and hit that like button if you like these type of videos so let's get into the video Normally I start my prep off with some basic prepping. However, I have a lot of things that I need to cook in my air fryer today. So I'm gonna start off by working on some lunch prep. I am still using up things that I'm finding in my freezer. Um, so whenever I buy these sausages from Adele's, I always make sure I throw them in the freezer when I don't use up the entire package. So I found two different kinds in my freezer this week. I had some of these habanero ones and some of the Cajun and Dewey sausages, which are amazing by the way. I also had some frozen Angus burgers that I picked up at Grocery Outlet a while back. So I'm going to be putting these in my air fryer at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Uh, the burger patties, I plan on using those for like burger in the bowl or just doing some bunless burgers. I'll throw some cheese on there and just do bunless burgers. Um, so while those are in the air fryer, I'm going to go ahead and start on some dinner prep. So for one of my dinners this week, I'm going to have stuffed meatballs with zoodles. First, I need to cube up some mozzarella cheese that I can stuff in the meatballs. In my bowl here, I have two pounds of ground beef. To that, I'm adding in a third of a cup of almond flour, one egg, one tablespoon of dried minced onion, some Italian herbs, some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. I don't usually like measure out all my spices all the time. And you're gonna see a trend here. I put red pepper flakes in pretty much everything because I'm kind of obsessed with them. So I'm gonna use my hands to mix everything together. I just always find it's easier to use my hands, so I'm sorry if people don't like to do that. You can put, do yours however you wanna do it. And then I'll start forming the meatballs. So I'm using this cookie scoop here. It's a kind of a larger one to go ahead and scoop out my meatballs. That way my meatballs are pretty much the same size and they cook a lot better that way. And I'm going to take one or two pieces of this cheese and form the meatball around the cheese. I have made these before and I tell you guys, these things are fabulous. You will absolutely love them. On the night that I have these for dinner, I will make up some homemade marinara sauce and just serve these with some sauteed zoodles. So stay tuned this week. I am doing a what's for dinner video this week and you we'll see how this meal all comes together. So I still have a few minutes before my air fryer is available. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside and work on one of my other lunch items for the week, which is going to be taco meat. So I've been like craving taco salads like crazy this week. So it is on my meal plan for dinner, but I thought I'm also gonna have it for lunch one or two days this week. So I have a half a pound of ground beef in my skillet. To that, I'm adding in some of my homemade taco seasoning. I will link my taco seasoning recipe below. The one that I use It's not my recipe, it's just one I found on Pinterest and it's one I use every single time I make taco meat. Uh, the, ta the taco seasoning you buy in the stores a lot of times have like dextrose in it or maltodextrin or some kind of starch. So it's up to you if you wanna use that. It just has some extra carbs. I just prefer to make my own. I just make a big batch ahead of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and brown this up. And then when it's all done, I'm gonna store it in a glass container so I can easily throw together a quick taco salad in the morning to take to work for lunch. The burgers and sausages are all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer those to these containers to store for my lunches through the week. You guys, meal prepping just makes my life so much easier since I also have to pack a lunch to take to work because I work too far away from home to be able to come home and eat. And it also saves money so I don't go out to eat and it just keeps me on track. So that's why I love to meal prep. Now that the air fryer is free, I can cook my meatballs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the same rack that my um, burgers and sausages were on. These meatballs are going to go in at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Now you have to remember my meatballs are rather large, so if you make smaller ones, they may take less time. So definitely your mileage may vary when it comes to how long you need to cook these for. If you don't have an air fryer, these definitely can be cooked in the oven. You just still cook them at 400 degrees, but 
for this size meatball, it's going to take about 35 to 40 minutes. So again, just depends on the size of your meatball. So while the meatballs are cooking, I'm going to whip up some blackened seasoning mix. So I'm going to be using this spice for another dinner this week. I'm going to be making my own blackened chicken tenders. So you guys all may have seen the Tyson blackened chicken tenders. Well, I used to make my own, so I haven't made those in a long time. So in my jar here, I am adding in two teaspoons of paprika, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half a teaspoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of a garlic powder. So I'm going to give this a good shake, and this right here will be such a time saver when I get home from work to start dinner. I don't have to get all the spices out, and I can just put the rub on there. And again, you guys will see this in my upcoming What's for Dinner video. So you may have seen in this week's grocery haul, I picked up some Olive Garden dressing. I love that stuff, but then someone reminded me in the comments that it has high fructose corn syrup in it, and that's why I stopped using it months ago. I completely forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip up some of my own Italian dressing. No, it's not as good as the Olive Garden dressing, but this definitely does the trick for me when I'm wanting Italian dressing. So in my jar here, I'm adding in three quarters of a cup of olive oil. You can also use avocado oil one quarter cup of a red wine vinegar. You can also use any kind of vinegar that you would like. Uh, two tablespoons of water. One tablespoon of a grated Parmesan cheese. This is the kind in the green can. A third of a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And one teaspoon of onion powder. A tablespoon of Italian herbs salt, and again, some of those red pepper flakes. And you're just going to shake this up. You can store this in the fridge for up to two weeks. Um, this will solidify a little bit in the refrigerator. So what I usually do is if I know I'm gonna be having this on my salad with dinner, I just take it out of the refrigerator when I get home from work, set it on the counter, and by the time dinner is ready, then it is nice and, um, you know, not solidified anymore, and I can use it on my salad. Now on to my basic prepping. So basic prep is something I always, always make time to do each week, no matter what is going on for the week. For me, best basic prepping is chopping any veggies that I need for the week. So this week I am chopping some green onions, some zucchini that I'll just saute it for a side dish. And also I'm going to make the zoodles that I'll be having with that meatball dinner. I also always grate up any cheese blocks that I have in the refrigerator. This will ensure that I always have some fresh grated cheese in the fridge for easy access for any recipe that I may need it for. And let's not forget the hard-boiled eggs. I have been on a huge hard-boiled egg kick lately, helping to up my protein. So I always use my pressure cooker to make my hard-boiled eggs. They come out perfect every single time. Perfect yellow yolk, none of that green ring on there that you get sometimes with hard-boiled eggs. I set them on the steam setting for four minutes, let them natural release for five, and then I put them right into an ice bath and they just sit in there until I'm ready to peel them. Normally these peel perfectly, but for some reason today, they gave me some trouble. I'm not sure why. I didn't let them sit in the ice bath for as long as I normally do, so that could be why. So the meatballs are done and they look perfect. So I'm gonna store these in this glass container until the night that I have them for dinner and I just have to heat them up and they are ready to go. The last part of my basic prep that I do each week is to cook up some bacon. So now that my air fryer is free for the last time, I'm going to go ahead and cook this bacon at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I like to do something like this at the end of my meal prep. That way it gives me time to get everything cleaned up and everything put away. And by the time the bacon is done, my kitchen is clean and I can sit down and relax. Well, or I can edit this video, which is the case for me. But the rest of you doing meal prep, you can sit down and relax for the day because you have everything cleaned, you have everything prepped for the week, and you guys are going to be on track. And our life will just be that much easier through the week for lunches and dinners and breakfast and whatever you prep. So you guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope this inspired you to do some meal prepping of your own. Please leave a comment down below with what you are going to prep for the week. I love hearing your ideas and I also love having your ideas in the comment section for others to read. And I just hope this really does inspire you guys. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.